Well, hello there everyone and welcome to a new video over here on Anton's Harbor Channel. Well, I think I did something wrong because I did buy a new sound card and I know I said it some videos ago that I wouldn't buy one anymore. I did. And I got myself an ESI Prodigy X5 NRG. Now, why did I get this sound card? Let's find out in this video. Now, for those viewers who've already spotted it, I've got the sound card working here in my test bench just to find out how it sounds and if I could get it to work. Because, well, this sound card is way back from 2011. Now, other sound cards that I've reviewed some videos ago also are that old, but those cards generally have a bit better of uh, driver support. This one now functions with a Windows 7 64 bits uh, driver and well it does work and I haven't encountered any problems yet but well I thought would have thought that they made the driver support a bit better. But why oh why did I buy this sound card? Well first of all it was the price and second the sound card came not in one package but it came with two sound cards well i just couldn't pass that one up so i got this sound card and the reason why i bought it well is this one it's an older creative uh, sound blaster x5 it's the fatality version and in my humble opinion it is well the best sound card out there that has ever lived no, no that's way too high of a praise but still this card came with onboard memory it came with the first bit of rgb uh, on that side there it is all gold plated it's it has a heat sink on the processor so how much cooler can you make a sound card well creative uh, did that a couple of years later with the ae5 with even more rgb and better specifications but still this is the card that uh, is the reason that I bought this one. The reason behind that is this one is only in PCI and this one is PCI Express. When PCI wasn't on board any of my motherboards anymore, it was time to chuck this one out. And even although also there was of course the issue with the creative lack of support for sound cards, especially for Windows 10, they just wanted to push everyone to a new sound card and everybody said well no you should provide better drivers and then daniel k came along and well, the rest is history this is the sound card uh, let's take a quick look at those specifications so as i said before this card has been available since 2011 on the card itself uh, down here it says copyright gyrocom cnc limited in 2009 so i think the card itself is a bit older or maybe the design is a bit older than 2011 or maybe it wasn't sold in europe before so that may be the case the cool thing about this card it has an akm digital to analog converter and i haven't seen those around for well never so it was nice to see how that one performed and it really does a nice job and what else does it have well the ohm so that's the impedance of the uh, of the headphones is a maximum of 300 there are headsets that can all go all the way up to 600 so well 300 is quite okay the op amp is a swappable and it is equipped with an ne 5532 op amp it's swappable but most cooler sound cards these days have a swappable op amp as i said before that this card over here only supports windows 7 64-bit uh, drivers there is no other driver for it and because of that and of course the lacking support of creative for older sound cards uh, is really annoying but even then if you get the sound card working and there's a bit of a thing here because online i saw some stories of people not getting that driver functioning but this card has a flag uh, sorry a jack sensing which means that it only senses you can only change uh, parameters for your headset if you have one plugged in if you have an asrock uh, i think it's asrock i'm not really sure but one of those white tai chi motherboards well then this sound card is really cool because well look at it it's all white and neat and it would really fit into your motherboard but if you already own a sound card of thing or think well the onboard is good enough for me stick to that one because well 
it is a nice sound card, but I wouldn't recommend it. It you can ev cannot even buy it in the shops anymore. But even if you can, I wouldn't recommend it. The lowest price that I found, latest lowest price, was 40 euros, and in my opinion, that's still too expensive. For 10 more euros, you can get the Asus Xonar AE, which in my opinion is a lot better and has Windows 10 driver support now as i was finishing up with uh this video i suddenly thought well what if i popped in the old x5 into the pci slot of my test bench and see if it works with the esi drives because well the drives were from easy esi arm just uh, uh creative drivers with a uh, esi stamp on it but still i thought well it would be nice to see if it works and it does work woohoo it's really cool to see that those drivers work and then this sound card still works and I thought well let's give it a quick listening session and see how well it performs and I was really happy at the beginning of this video with the quality of that sound card but no with that ending I'm going to say goodbye to you for now and I hope to see you soon please don't forget to leave a like and don't forget to subscribe